Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? We are back with some more Blade and so and this time we are in Naryu Sanctum and we are on the last boss. Now, as you guys can see, we have to kill this last dude or this mini boss fight before we go to the actual boss. But as you guys saw from the cutscene at the very beginning of the video, um, we're going to be fighting this awesome Buddha God. Holy snap, man. I was about to say, holy. you know what? Holy shit. This this man is clean real quick. All right. This man is holy. All right. He's more. He, he has more light power than any light power people that we have in any in, any of them in the game right now. So with that being said, we're about to start the boss fight. Right. Can, 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 can I get a start? Right now. Okay. So now. Um, before I, you know, slow down the clip and I, you know, start explaining some stuff, you guys will just see his basic combos. His basic combos are pretty easy to learn. Uh, after you do this about three or four times, you should get it. But um, I'll be explaining it very, very soon, which is in a few seconds here. Now, uh, as you guys can see, he does doesn't hit too hard. But if you I if you know how to eye from every single attack, then you should be fine. Of course, this does take practice, you know, um, to to get better at. But let's start off with with his with his attacks. He will do two hand attacks. The next attack he's gonna do is these two like AOE attacks but keep in mind they will happen in like seconds right. He's gonna do that he's gonna do like one one line and then he's gonna immediately switch to the other direction. Now then he's gonna do one inner explosion, one outer explosion and then you have one second and then he's gonna do his another inner explosion and then he's gonna shoot a laser beam at you alright now, this laser beam will knock you back if you get hit by it. The the the, the two hand claps, you know, the crisscross hand clap will do a knockdown. And after a few rotations of his um of his basic combos, he will do the sacrifice. The sacrifice only occurs after a few rotations, and he will jump to the farthest person. And you guys just saw what he did. He's he do big AOEs, and he gonna shoot you know some arrows at you. Now. During the fight of Xanos, you will get stacks. These stacks will, will stack up on you. If you get 24 stacks on you, you will not be able to move. During that time, you will not be able to, you will not be able to move and you will die instantly if you get hit. Alright, now, and how you clear them is how you just got a knockdown and you just do not look at the boss. Alright, if you look at the boss while you do this, you won't, you're, you're gonna get blinded like you get hit by a assassin tab. Okay, so. We're at 70% and we're going to talk about his mechanics. Now, the first part of his mechanics is that um, he'll create a dark area and a light area. Everybody in the group that's not marking has to stay five, four to five meters away. The first explosion you can probably eat, all right, because, you, you know, it's just an explosion. Now, after the first explosion, he's going to do, um, he's going to wait for a knockdown, all right? Now, the knockdown is very important. Now, after the knockdown, you're, you're gonna go blind. Um, you're gonna turn around so you don't look at the boss. Now, during this, mo during the part that I'm, I'm explaining this, the far mark and the close mark are communicating to each other. The far mark is gonna tell the close mark it's either the the close mark or or the far mark. If it's the far mark, then the far mark will go into the dark circle. If it's the close mark, the uh, the close will go to the dark circle. Now, two circles. Everybody goes to the light circle, and only the the one that we think is the marker goes into the dark circle. So as as you guys can see, um, I am I am marked, and I, now I will go into the dark circle. Now, how do you know that you're marked? Okay, well I'll I'll explain that in just a little bit. But as soon as you go into the dark circle and the mark is right, you stun the boss immediately. Therefore, you create this uh this thing where you attack him for a little bit, and after that part. The boss kind of resets now. Not really resets. He more or less just you know uh, just do his thing again. But before he does all of his basic attacks, he will go into a five explosion um, phase. Now these five explosion, I'm gonna tell you guys how to iframe every single one of them if you are a blade master. Alright, so the first thing you want to start off with is five point strike. You're gonna let you're gonna hit five point strike. Twice. You're gonna QE, alright, QE immediately, then an SS and there, and then you can get back into the boss without getting hurt. Now, how do you get marked? Okay, during that mark phase, there will be faces around the area that you need to look at. If you are the far mark, alright, you're gonna be the farthest person away, and it's preferably a range class. If you're a range class, then you should be fine. Um, 
and most of the time the far mark is is going to be the farthest person i highly recommend the far mark to be around eight to nine meters away and then look at the faces now the easiest way for me to, to do far mark because i've done far mark before is for that class to look at the faces and then ss into um into you know the light area um, and you can stay in the light area like nine meters away and then you ss back into the boss now if you see if you see that the bosses, I mean the faces around the arena, as you guys can see, there's some faces around the arena right, that will look at you. Uh, now, if these faces look at you and they change when you SS into the boss or back in or back closer to the boss, then the marker is on you. Okay, if 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 they change in any way, right, it's on you. However, if you S, if the far mark SS and they do not see a change in the faces, then you will. <clears throat> then the marker is probably and i say probably on the on the uh, on the tank um then then it's probably close mark because the close mark doesn't move too much um so it's the phases change on him all right so um looks like we're gonna do the phase again now what happens if you fail that phase all right this i'm gonna show you what happens when you fail that phase now um right here i know i didn't i, I forgot to go in there but as you guys can see somebody over there was marked now, if the if the marker right, if the marker goes into the light, everybody dies. I'm not kidding. Everybody dies. The marker was not on me. Therefore, we all wipe. Okay, we all wipe. Now, there was there's only certain ways that you can tell that the marker, um, who is the marker, because the marker is, is invisible. As you guys can see, there's no face on top of us. There's nothing to indicate that. But you can force mark. Then the far and close mark is how you do it. You force mark one person that's really close to him and one person that's the farthest most of the marking zone is eight is from seven eight nine meters away and most of the marking zone is right next to him all right so it's pretty easy stuff bro so this time we're gonna do it again and we're gonna pass them like always you already know we're gonna pass them um and now our and now since we got it right i'm gonna go back i'm the marker we're gonna go back and a successful um, a successful um, raid, really a successful uh, sacrifice there. He calls it sacrifice, so that's why I'm gonna call it too. Okay. All right. So, as you guys can see, I'm gonna do my iframe real, real, real quick. Yep, right there. That's how you do it. Not bad. All right. So he's a pretty cool guy. Now, if you li have listened to the music the entire time of Xanos, he has one of the cleanest theme songs in the game. So I highly recommend you check him out. Check him out in Sanctum. He's a cool guy. You know what I mean? Cool man. And he also dropped me my bracelet, alright? If you have not checked that out, go check it out right there. You know what I mean? Go check it out. Um, uh, but basically, that's it for the fight. You just gotta do it twice. Now, the only difference between hard mode and normal mode is that in normal mode, you gotta do this twice. In hard mode, you do this three times, alright? I think it's like 90, 60, 30 or something like that, but I'm not sure. Um, but you just gotta do it three times for a 5% increase of the bracelet dropping. So it's 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 not worth it, guys. It's it's not worth it to do hard mode. It's dumb. You don't need to do it. All right. So just do normal mode. It'll be fast. It'll be a lot easier. And that's basically it. All right, guys. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.